Hello! It is time for your workout of the day. Yes. Yes. Um, best hour of your day right here. <laughs> so uh, I got John here, Coach John here with me doing the workout. Um, so we're going to get started. So we're actually going to get started with something we call the perfect stretch. Okay, so we're going to be um, going through this two per side and then we'll get into our traditional warm up. Okay, so just follow along with this first, uh, this first part and then we'll get rolling. Okay, so for the perfect stretch, we're going to start pulling that knee into our chest, stretching out. They're going to step that foot out. You're going to drop that hand to the floor, reach up with the hand that's closest to the knee. Then you're gonna drop that back knee to the floor. We're gonna go into instep stretch. So you're reaching that inside elbow to the floor. From here, you're gonna rock back hamstring stretch. Okay, so you're just stretching the hamstrings out there. You're gonna come into a tall plank position and then you're gonna walk your hands, inchworming them back to your feet. Good, now we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Okay, so left. Well, if you're on the right, then you're going right. But left knee in, step it out, drop that hand, closest hand towards the knee, comes up to the ceiling, spinal twist, drop that back knee to the floor, reach that inside elbow to the ground for an instep stretch. And then we're gonna rock back, hamstring stretch. You can pull up on your toe too if you need to. Okay, and we're gonna come into a tall plank position and walk the hands back. Okay, we're gonna go one more each side, back to the starting leg, hugging that knee in, step out, twist, releasing the hand closest to the front knee, and step stretch. Hamstring stretch. Go ahead and take that front leg back out, tall plank. Hands come to feet, forward fold. And all the way back up to standing. Other leg. Knee to the chest. Step it out. Hand to the floor. Reach. Opening up. In step stretch. Rock back, hamstring stretch. Good, tall plank position, walk the hands back to the feet. Good, a little loosened up there. Um, so we can get into our next part of our warm up here. Okay, so we're gonna go two rounds of this, 30 seconds of each. We're gonna start with something called the Kang squat. Okay, so the Kang squat is a combination between the good morning and squat. So we're gonna go over this one real fast and then we'll get rolling. Okay, so John here has got his feet in his squat stance. Okay, so there's shoulder width, okay? He's gonna bring his hands behind his head. He's gonna good morning over. So hinge over, then he's gonna squat, chest comes up, then he's gonna raise his hips, keep his chest down, and then finish with the good morning piece. Okay, one more, so he's gonna hinge, squat, chest up, raise his hips, leave the chest, and then open up. Good, okay, so that's the first movement in today's warm up. Here we go. 10 seconds with the old Kang squat. Okay, hands behind head, feet are squat width, and go. Hinge over, squat down, hips up, squeeze the glutes. Stretch, up, hips come up, squeeze the glutes, good. Make sure those heels stay glued to the floor as you come into that squat. Okay, hands are gonna go interlaced up overhead. We're gonna go reverse lunge and reach. So you're just gonna take a step back and then you're just reaching those hands up and away behind you, getting a good stretch there in the hip flexor, in the shoulders. Good. From here, we're going to go down into a down dog position. Okay, we've got down dog toe touches. So I'm taking my opposite hand, touching my opposite toe. Okay, bring it through. Warm up the shoulders. 
Keep on going. Alternating sides. Okay, we're gonna come all the way down to the floor onto our bellies. Forehead on the ground. We're going into an S mantis, so I'm swimming my hands. One goes up my back, the other goes down. Sweep them high off the ground. Other side. Alternating sides. Nice and slow and controlled. Okay, arms are gonna come out to a T. We got scorpions next. So you're gonna set opposite foot towards opposite hand and alternate sides nice and slow and controlled. Back and forth. Smash in. 
getting the core activated here, as well as waking up those hamstrings. And relax, come on up to standing, jumping jacks. Here we go. the good mornings we've been doing or we've been increasing the intervals every week this week just like the air squats 50 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest okay just like we have been in the past two um two sessions here with the good mornings and the reaching good mornings we're going to do the same format where the first two rounds are just going to be the prisoner good mornings here and then the second two are going to be more reaching okay um so 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four rounds. Okay, quick review on the good morning. John's gonna step here in the middle. Okay, feet underneath hips, guys. Okay, you're not in your squat stance anymore. Underneath hips, toes pointed forward. Okay, hands are gonna be behind head. Key here is that we're maintaining a nice neutral spine. Okay, nothing should change in the spine. As he pushes his hips back to the wall uh, behind him and brings his chest towards the ground. Okay, he's gonna squeeze the glutes and hamstrings to come back up. Good, and then hinge back over. Okay, so maintaining this excellent position here in the spine, everything is neutral, all the way from the head out the tailbone. Okay, so he's just hinging over at the hips, reaching his hips back as his chest comes forward. Okay, so quick review on that one. For the reaching one, same thing, except for he's gonna be playing tug of war with his hands and his tailbone essentially his hips as he reaches out overhead okay try to be more by your ears yeah yeah there we go okay so reaching those hands out uh biceps by ears as you finish and coming back in so that reaching just intensifies this movement adding more sheer force to the hip okay so more load is now out here in my hands okay so supporting here with my core and the, my um, erectors in my spine, okay? All right, so 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Good mornings, starting out in 10 seconds. Good mornings, good morning, if it's morning. If not, late to the party. Two, one, go. Stretching out those hamstrings, Bracing the core here. Abs are tight. Working on that hinge. Hips go back. Squeezing the glutes to come up. Really fight for that brace position in the core. We're halfway. So how far you will go down here is dependent on how mobile your hamstrings are. Okay, so if you got really tight hamstrings and you're here, in order for you to go lower, you gotta round your back. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, you just go to the point where you can while maintaining that neutral spine and rest. Okay? So really think about that. Only 10 seconds of rest. Here we go again. Our hamstrings are gonna be on fire. Ready? Set? Go. Hips go back, chest comes forward. Keep the core braced. This is your support here. This whole area, all within the core, okay? Just a soft bend in the knees. Don't need to lock them out. Don't need to turn it into a squat, okay? Really focusing on that hinge. Brace the core. Ten seconds. 
working those hamstrings and glutes. Yes, we are. Two, one, rest. Good. Okay, now we're moving into that reaching. Good morning. If you want to progress it, okay? If you want to stick with the regular, that's fine. Ready? Go. Reaching those hands away from your hips. Leg tug of war there for a second. Okay, really making those erectors work to hold that position while keeping your core nice and strong. Don't let your abs turn off. Keep them on. Full force. Good, we got 15 seconds, guys. Keep the core tight. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we got one more of those. Woo! That posterior chain is getting worked. Three, two, one, go. Last one of these. Reaching those hands away. The longer you hold that out there, the more difficult it's going to get as we fatigue. The key is that you're maintaining that nice flat back. As you push your hips back, you're loading those glutes, squeeze them to come back up. Load and squeeze. Nice work, guys. We've got 15 seconds. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> Woo, we made it through those. The whole progression, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Awesome work, guys. All right, guys, moving on to the workout for today, okay? We're the full, or the fun part. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go five rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest at each of these movements, okay? This first movement is a total body exercise. We've brought our weights back into play today, so you can see how we have all sorts of stuff here. So quick reminder, guys, the, the weights are a big, big player um, in, in any kind of workout regimen. Um, Weight-bearing exercises have been shown to increase bone density, okay? So loading your skeleton, can re you can reap a lot of benefit to that. Um, as far as bone density goes, and then also just like building lean muscle mass, okay? So um, that's why we're incorporating some weights. If you don't have anything, we've got things like soup cans. We have dumbbells that we're gonna show you guys how to use. Um, if you happen to have them at your house, we also have other props for us to play with, okay? So the thruster, total body movement, okay? It's a squat and a press, okay? So your feet are gonna be a squat with, Okay, your weights are going to be up on your shoulders, okay, M mind you too, you can do this with no weight, okay, or pretty close to no weight, the broomstick, which we'll show here in a second, okay, <laughs> we don't need this, we're not sweeping, okay, so he's going to, now I'm going to start pointing here, <laughs> he's going to squat down, and then as he comes up, he's going to drive those weights up overhead. Okay, or his hands up overhead. So he's using the momentum coming up from the bottom of the squat to press the weights overhead. Okay, so he's got cans of soup. Okay, you can set those down. If you have maybe one dumbbell, okay, you can do it with one dumbbell, you're just gonna hold it like so, squat and press. Okay, if you've got two, you're gonna hold it like so. Okay, one in each hand, squat, press. If you have a broomstick, you don't want to poke anyone's eye out with it, <laughs> but you can bring it up here. Okay, so now you have that bar kind of, for that bar, that broomstick resting there against your throat a little bit, and then you're going to squat down, drive it up, okay? Broomstick, totally fine. Excellent alternative. And then we can bring back things like our puzzle or my favorite, ultra clean, okay? The laundry detergent. Okay, so if you've got something like that, he's just going to hold it as his chest, 
at his chest and then press it up, okay? So you pick your poison there, whatever you feel is appropriate for you, even if that's just going no weights, okay, that's totally fine, all right? So our second movement is going to be a weighted sit-up and Russian twist, okay? All right, so if you have a weight here, um, you can use it so, like so. So he's got one weight. Um, he's going to sit all the way up, keeping his arms locked out. Bring him down, and then he's going to go into a Russian twist. Okay, so going side to side. So weighted sit up, and then Russian twist. One more. So one other thing, guys. If you would like to modify that Russian twist, what you can do is leave your feet on the ground. Okay, so you can Russian twist with your feet on the ground. We want to work those obliques, get that rotation in there, but you pick what's right for you, okay? Good, okay, so the other option would be doing no weight, so one with no weight, okay? So you just pretend it's weight here, so sit up, brush and twist, perfect. One other option, if doing the full sit up is not right for you, okay, you are going to do a crunch, okay? So you're going to do a crunch into a bicycle, okay? Crunch into a bicycle. All right, so left, right, okay, crunch, left, right. So you pick what's appropriate for you. There's another alternative. Okay, the uh, second to last movement is called the Bulgarian split squat. Okay, so you will need something to elevate your rear foot onto something. So a couch, coffee table, uh, a bench if you have one. Um, just something to elevate your foot a little bit off the ground. I will show an alternative for those that maybe don't have anything sturdy or stable around. Okay, so John here has got his uh, rear foot elevated onto the bench behind him. And then from here, he's just going to drop into a single leg squat. Okay, so all the load here is on that front leg. Okay, so the front leg, the one that's out front, <laughs> the front leg, the one that's out front, is the working leg. And he's just going down and up, pushing through that leg. Okay. So, showing from the side, Ooh. off the bench. Showing from the side so you guys can see how far away his foot is from that bench. Okay, so taking about a step out, a little bit further out. Good, and then from here he's just dropping down. Okay, so that knee is over the foot, okay? If you don't want to be too far extended out, extend way out, like way out here. Oh. Yep, so you don't want to be too far extended out where your knee's like, Way behind John can actually do that because he's super flexible. <laughs> but you know, just find that sweet spot, okay? And then you don't want to be so jammed up either, okay? Sick, thank you. Um, okay, last one is going to be a deadlift to curl. So now that we've done so much work with that hinge, with the good morning and the reaching good mornings, okay, we're going to progress that into what we call the deadlift, okay? We're just going to be more of like uh, a hinge movement with weights, okay? So now we've got the weights by the sides. So really focusing, rather than being here, we've got them down here. So really focusing on getting that upper back involved too. No lazy shoulders here, okay? Go a little bit more here. So he's going to deadlift over, maintain that nice flat back, just going to about mid shin, and he's gonna stand up. Once he gets to standing, he's gonna perform a curl, okay? So hinging over, working the glutes and hamstrings and lower back, stand, biceps, okay? So a uh, deadlift to curl, you can also do that with your broomstick. You can choose which grip you want to do. If you want to do a supinated grip, deadlift to curl, or a regular grip, and then reverse curl, okay? So you pick your poison there, even if you hold something like so, okay? Get that weird grip on it, hinge over, curl it up. Hinge over, curl it up, okay? So whatever you have there, and that those are our four exercises for today's workout. All right, we're going through that. Oh, uh, the Bulgarian split squat without um, anything to elevate. Okay, you're just coming into a split squat here. Okay, so you can just leave that foot on the floor. All right, time to get sweaty. Forty seconds of work. 20 seconds of rest. Five rounds. Okay, we are starting with those thrusters. We're gonna pick which one. I'm gonna take the puzzle today. Puzzle thrusters. 
It's tape it's tape shut, so we don't have puzzle all over. Okay, ten seconds. If you're doing a puzzle, this is what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Forty seconds in three, two, one, go. Squatting down, press it up. All the way down in the squat, legs, push up. Good. Now, if you need to take breaks during these 40 second intervals, feel free. We're halfway. If not, if you need to turn it up more, go faster. 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We have our weighted sit up. Russian twist. I'm taking my water bottle. Woo. You can take a water bottle with you. It's a good one. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Make it sit up. Take your feet up if you can. Russian twist. Sit up. If you need to, you can leave your feet down. Remember the other modification is the crunch bicycle. Crunch bicycle. Crunch bicycle. Now we got 10 seconds. Alrighty guys, five seconds. Three, two, 
One, go. Sit up, lift the feet up if you can. Russian twist. Halfway through this first leg. 
one switch. That's gonna fall over here. <laughs> if you guys need balance on this, grab like the broomstick. You can hold that. Two, one, rest. You guys can hold the broomstick stick or put it where um, you can be close to the wall. Woo. And hold on to the wall. Alright, deadlift to curl. Two, one, go. Keep your core strong. Deadlift, stand, and then curl. It's a one. Four part movement. Fifteen more seconds. Keep that back of yours nice and flat. If you need a mirror or film yourself, press pause. Go film yourself. If it doesn't look flat, get it flat. Two, one, rest. Round. Two more rounds. That means we're over halfway. Woo, back to the thrusters. Two, one, go. Feet are in squat width, shoulder width, toes slightly turned out. Squat down, press up. Good work, guys. You're halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. Sit up to rush a twist. Here we go, guys. Second to last round. Three, two, one. Go! Okay, there's the halfway point. Don't let your core 
Shut up. Sit on. Keep that dial turned all the way up. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, we got one more round. Last round. Woo -hoo. Can't be boss. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Down and up. You have to admit that was pretty good flossing though. Okay, 20 seconds left. We're halfway. Long stretch. Here we go, last 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Weighted sit up, brush and twist. Don't forget that modification there if you guys need it. We're just crunching in a bicycle. Three, two, one, go. So remember, crunch, bicycle. Do what you need to do. Here, 
I want this top elbow on the floor, okay? So at all times during each of these movements, I want that top elbow down, all right? So from here, we've got our four different movements. Last time we only did 20 seconds. This time, we're bumping it up to 25, okay? All right, starting in 10 seconds. Okay, so keeping that top hip over the bottom hip, taking the top leg, toe down, heel up. We're tapping up and down. Ready, set, go. Tap it up and down. Top elbow on the floor. That top hip is over the bottom hip. Remember, we're trying to work the hip there, that glute medius, okay, rather than being here. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, knee to chest. Nice job, guys. Keeping that top elbow down. Two, one, two, two, five. Keeping your knees apart. Two, one, last one. You know it, circles. Woo! John and I's circles are pretty similar. <laughs> similar heights. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we'll give you 25 seconds of rest. We're flipping over. Jane Fonda on the other leg. Woo!
look guys. Okay, you need your chest. Ten more seconds. Two, one, heel to bad. Nice job, guys. We're almost there. Two, one, circles. Nice work, guys. You can do it. It's the last side. On the last time on the side. Two, one. Oh. Flip it over. Oh, yeah. Jane. All right, this is it. Three, two, one, go. Toe down, heel up, tapping up and down. Make sure that top elbow is on the floor. Working that glute medius. <laughs> 10 seconds. Need a chest. Ten more seconds. We're so close, guys. Three, two, one, circles. Last 25 seconds. Woo! Three, two, one, rest. Oh. All right, guys. Let's do a couple hip swivels here. So for the hip swivels, we're gonna be seated here. Bring our feet about shoulder width, and then you're just gonna drop knees side to side. Get that back, back moving normally.
Okay, next stretch we're gonna go into, um, I don't know what you call this. Pigeon. Double pigeon. There you go. So one foot on top of the other. Ooh, and then we're just trying to stand tall-ish. <laughs> John's knees are like touching each other. Her shins are touching each other. A little bit harder for me over here. <laughs> I'm feeling that. <laughs> okay, switch sides. So ankle on top of knee, you're resting on top of the other foot.